Hello, welcome to Hot Button Hashtags. My name is Matt. Here in Indiana, we have, as of late, been experiencing some rather unpleasant weather. Quite a few pretty bad storms. A lot of trees have fallen, and that is great for people whose job is to cut up trees that have fallen. And I'm I'm thinking that's probably the business to get into right now. Of course, if you're not already in the business, it's too late. All the trees have been cut up. But if you don't have gobs and gobs and oodles and oodles and loads and loads of money, and you have a tree fall in your yard, what do you do? Well, here in Indiana, but we have these things called neighbors. And neighbors are people who come around. Uh, they have two things. They have time, and they have chainsaws. Neighbors are awesome, and if you don't have any, you should get some. They're all over the place. Usually they're they're on either side of your house or across the street. Um, here in Indiana, we also have neighbors that in, in, the, in the back of us. Um, although, I hear chainsaws over there, but they never bring them up, so I'm wondering if maybe they don't have time. Anyway, my point is this. The um, the old, 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 old lady who lives across the street from us, she's really sweet, but she's super duper old. In fact, she's so old that I was talking to her um, the other day, and she mentioned that she has lived in her house for 45 years. She remembers watching from her windows as they built our house. She's lived there for 45 years. Our house is 47 years old. She's older than math. So she had a tree fall in her backyard. Uh, my wife and I went over uh, with our um, muscles and our hand saws. We don't have chainsaws. We're lousy neighbors. We chopped up her little tree and we dragged it over into our yard. And uh, she was very concerned about her grass. Her grass game is on point. And uh, it would have been a shame. So we brought it over to our yard and chopped it all up and got it out of her hair. Because she's super duper old. Today she stopped by and uh, gave me... An adorable little thank you card with a toucan said it's just a toucan of our appreciation. It was sweet. And in fact, today we were doing landscaping and cutting um, down part of a tree. Another neighbor with time and a chainsaw just came running over. Um, I don't know his name. I called him Grant. I don't know. But then I saw another guy mowing at Grant's house, and I think that was Grant. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, he chopped up a bunch of the wood. It's totally cool. So, uh, neighbors just everywhere. In fact, ten years ago, m my uh, wife's mother's husband, my mother, my mother-in-law's husband, my wife's stepdad, he was cutting down a tree in his backyard, and uh, he ended up having a heart attack. And very scary. He's okay. He's fine now. Um, he does. He does bring up the heart attack every time there's work to do, though. I went over there after the heart attack, after we were sure he was fine, and I went over to help cut up the tree. My mother-in-law's neighbor, who I'd never met, came prancing over. Prancing. He pranced. He's a, he prances. He prances. He's a prancer. So he comes over with a chainsaw. Immediately, I liked the guy. I don't even know his name yet, but I was like, dude's got a chainsaw and some time. He must be a neighbor. So, long story short, he and I, he's one of my oldest friends now. Um, he's, you may have heard of him, Brian Foss. Go back and watch the auditions video to see the dandy Brian Foss. Neighbors are great. Neighbors are awesome. Um, I, they can also be pretty awful. You can identify an unpleasant neighbor by a few traits. Um, they either mow too frequently or too infrequently and expect you to do the same. They will communicate to you that you really should be on their mowing schedule. They often have a garage band. Those are the guys who hang out at Taco Bell at one in the morning and they make their girlfriends stand there and just stand. They're not allowed to talk. Not even like if another guy brings his girlfriend, they're not allowed to talk. If they talk, no taco. They don't get a taco. But my point is this. We have some amazing neighbors. And it, your neighbor isn't just the people who live next to you or across the street or behind you. Your neighbors are anybody, anybody, anybody you encounter, anyone 
whose life you can affect. Anyone who you see in a situation that you can improve. That's your neighbor. If you encounter an individual whose situation you can improve, you should do that. You should just try to make people's lives better. That should be our goal, is to make people's lives better. Make their time here on Earth as short as it is, or as long as it is, if you're the ancient lady across the street from me, just make it less awful. Because I'm telling you, sometimes life is just crap. But it doesn't have to be. And if you can help make it not crap, that should be your job. That's your job. Help people live awesomely. And that's, that's what neighbors do. So be a neighbor.